We are in Lukban, Quezon, a town best known for Pancit Habhab, Lukban Lunganisa, and of course the Pahias Festival. Let's try to walk around town and explore it more. Founded in 1578, the town of Lukban was established after Spanish missionaries Juan de Placencia and Diego de Iropesa arrived in the area to baptize the locals in the Roman Catholic faith. Local legend says the town owes its name to the pomelo after lost hunters found shade under a pomelo tree, resting after a difficult trek in the foothills of Mount Banahaw. Every 15th of May, tourists flock to Lukban for the Pahias Festival, the town's celebration of the feast day with its patron saint, San Isidro Labrador. Now known as the culinary capital of Quezon Province, Lukban streets are paved with shops, offering various dishes distinct to the people and the province. First stop, the Old Panciteria. We are here in the Old Center Panciteria, the oldest Panciteria in town. The business was started in 1937 by the Aranya family. The current owner, John Aranya, inherited the business from his parents. Aside from the Pancit, Lukban is also known for the Hardinera and of course, the Lukban Longanisa. All over town, shops are offering several versions of the Longanisa. Curious as to what makes their Longanisa unique, we spoke with the president of the organization. Stuffed with dinner, we retired for the night, preparing for a long walk the following day. We are at the Kamayan Jesus here in Lukban, Quezon. This is one of Lukban's most famous landmarks. As you can see, it is raining. So let's try to wait before the rain stops, before we try to see more of the place. Built in 2002, the Kamay ni Jesus Shrine was established by healing priest Father Joseph Faller and the Javierto Brizuela family. The shrine features statues depicting saints of the Roman Catholic faith. Aside from saints, there's a Garden of Eden where significant Bible stories are depicted, among which is the Great Flood. Strolling around the place would have been easy if the rain stopped already. Eventually it did, and up the hill we go. If the garden had Adam and Eve, Noah and the Great Flood, the hill had Jesus and the Stations of the Cross. The Kamayan Jesus depict various stages in Jesus Christ's adult life. Each sculptured tableau features painted figures which depict various stages in his ministry. It was not easy going up the 257 steps, but it was well worth the view when one reaches the top to stand beside the 50-foot statue of Christ the Redeemer. We are at the topmost part of the Kamayan Jesus, and behind me is the statue of the Christ Redeemer. Of course, the journey down the hill was faster and easier than the walk going up, but it was nice to have spent the weekend combining not only food for the body, but also food for the soul.